Some time ago, we decided that we needed a standalone meter in addition to the full functions of the analyzer, and we designed the Zone Master. The metering section of the Zone Master is exactly the same as an analyzer, and all the instructions on working out and showing the effects of exposure and contrast are the same as for the analyzer, and for that reason there's no point in me repeating those instructions. This unit, however, is just a meter. This latest version has the analysis part in one box with all the displays, and it has a separate metering probe, just as with an analyzer that plugs into the front. It also has one other little secret, in that it can also be plugged into a stop clock, and the times on the display passed across the stop clock, so the stop clock can directly control the actual enlarger exposure. I'm going to take a series of short videos to show you the detailed functions of the buttons and how it slightly differs from the analyzer. The Zone Master is our standalone meter. It consists of a main unit plus a remote sensor box. The sensor plugs into the front and you switch the unit on in the back right hand corner. After a display check and a confirmation of what step size is being used and the paper channel being used, it comes up with a familiar display that users of the analyzer already understand, which is grade and time, a grayscale with lights against the grayscale when you take meter readings, and then this bunch of buttons on the right hand side perform identical functions to that of the analyzer, so you increase and decrease contrast, increase and decrease exposure, you either cancel or end things, and there's a cal button and a paper channel button in the corner. So let's go through those in more detail. And whilst I've been talking, because I haven't pressed any buttons, you notice the display has blanked off, and that's to save battery power, and that is an, an option that you can turn on and off. And to waken the unit up, I just press any button. So let's look at the buttons in turn. Um, I'm going to start with the up and down buttons. These increase time by fractions of a stop. Um, if there's no exposure readings, if I press the clear button, it takes me back to the standard startup time of 15 seconds. If I want to change the standard step size, I can press both buttons together and it tells me it's in twelfths of a stop and I can make that coarser or finer. When I've got to the level I want, I press the cancel button and now it goes up in sixths of a stop. These two buttons here change the contrast setting and it does it in half grade steps from 5 all the way down to 0, 0 which we use a little 0 for. And this button here um, acts as a timer button. If I press it, what it does is after a 4 second delay it just acts as a simple timer and counts down the exposure but it doesn't actually turn the enlarger on and off and the ticking noise you can hear is again another user option where you can get it to remind you the second count as it goes down. Now a number of other features that are on this uh, unit is this button in the corner here which is the paper channel button. A short press of this button tells you what paper channel is being used. You can alter the paper channel by going up or down. When you've selected the paper channel you want to use you press the end button and it goes back to normal operation. And now, just as with the analyzer, if you press and hold the measuring button, you get the word log come up on display and it will try to display a light level. In this case, it's uh, beyond the range of the meter setting in these uh, bright lights. But if I make it slightly darker, it will, it will take a series of readings and give density readings for a negative. To cancel out of that, I press and hold the measuring button and it brings that mode to an end. Just simply pressing the button quickly to tries to take a measuring. Um, at the moment it's too bright again. If I put it in the dark and do it, it gives me a meter reading. It tells me the time and for grade 2, that time gives me that tone. And again, just as with the analyzer, increasing the time moves the light along the grayscale um, and so you can predict what grey the print will have 
for what time. The details of how to take exposures and how to use the contrast and time buttons to, uh, to get the exposure and contrast the way you want it, those are detailed in the analyzer videos which are identical in operation to the Zone Master.